nenhuma. Ah, é. Mas ela tem vindo. Ah. E, então, she is the one, she is not Mahatma, but she is following very, very serious okay. our satsang. Wonderful. Coming, yes. Uh, so, she is very doing the, the praise, uh, the mantra, the three mantra, and and the, the praise, the nove columns. Uh -huh. well, and another one is, is coming to is not Mahatma. Uh, as I said to you, Marcia called me, she was worried because she had she had to go to 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 a, a bio birthday party, but she was in a very I said, no, don't worry, I I, I should have you understand. Oh ah, yeah, that's fine. You know, like these are all uh, scientific circumstantial evidences only, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then these are files, you know, your files will not leave you alone. Even though you want to be here, your files will not let you be, you see. <laughs> yeah? yeah? So, we need to... So, let's... Uh, let's... Uh, let us start. Okay. Let us... Ah, eu estava falando com o Shuda, que a Márcia, apesar de estar em Goiânia, é, ela, ela me ligou, que ela queria vir participar dessa sessão e até ajudar nas traduções, mas que ela tem uma um compromisso, uma festa de aniversário, que ela precisava ir, e então ela estava muito apurada, mas que isso são as evidências circunstanciais, que a gente não muda isso. E eu expliquei para ela que podia ficar sossegada, que também isso não ia ser problema. A gente gostaria de tê-la aqui, mas pelo fato dela não estar aqui, não seria problema. Aqui, como nós estamos falando, isso são as evidências circunstanciais, e o Chuda acabou de dizer que são os, os, os arquivos, yes. os files, arquivos. Yeah, and uh, so th so we start this satsang of Akram Vignan Brazil on Tuesday, September the 9th. This session uh, is of the nine columns. Então, nós vamos começar agora essa satsanga com o Brasil do dia 9 de setembro de 2014. E nós estamos fazendo essa satsanga sobre as nove colunas. And uh, we begin our satsang with the recitation of the three mantra. But before we sing it, uh, Eunice is just going to read it. Just simply read the three mantra and the meaning of the three mantra that is below it in, in Portuguese, okay? Would you like me? Yeah, I'd like for you to read the three mantra. Only, only the three mantra and the meaning below it, you see, in the Charan Vidi. Okay, but I say in Gujarati and then... No, 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 you just, yeah, yeah, you say it, Namo Vitra Gai and, you know. Okay, in Gujarati and then in Portuguese. Okay. Yes. Então, o Shuda falou que agora nós vamos começar essa satsanga, e a Eunice vai ler o tri mantra, e ela vai ler a parte que está em Gujarat e também ela vai ler a tradução que está em português embaixo, tá bem? Então nós vamos começar. Trimantra, esses três mantras que destroem todos os obstáculos da vida. É, Namo Vitragaya, eu me curvo àquele que está absolutamente livre de todo apego e ódio. Namo Arihantana, eu me curvo àquele que aniquilou todos os seus inimigos internos, como a raiva, o orgulho, o fingimento e a ganância. Namo Sidhana, eu me curvo a todos que atingiram o estado de libertação total e definitiva. Namo Ayariana, eu me curvo aos mestres que dividem o conhecimento da libertação com os outros. Namo Uvazayana, eu me curo aqueles que receberam o conhecimento do ser estão ajudando outros a atingir o mesmo. Namo Luyesaba Saona, eu me curvo a todos os santos de todos os lugares os quais receberam o conhecimento do ser. 
Exu Panchana Mukaru. Estas cinco saudações, Sapa Pavapana Jagu, destroem todo o karma negativo. Mangalana Chasa Vizinho, de todo aquele que é auspicioso. Padre Ramana Vai Mangalã, este é o mais poderoso. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Eu me curvo a todos que atingiram o ser absoluto na forma humana. Om Namashivaya. Eu me curvo a todos os seres humanos que se tornaram instrumento para a salvação do mundo. Jai Satidananda. Consciência do eterno é felicidade. Now, Eunice, uh, I would like for you to sing it. Okay. Only myself or everyone? Yeah, you sing and then everyone will sing with you. So you just sing and then... It... Okay. Então, agora, nós vamos, can... nós vamos é, recitar esses mantras cantando. Então, vamos começar. Namo Vitra Gaia, Namo Arihantana, Namo Siddhana, Namo Ayarihana, Namo Vazayana, Namo Jai 
जय सचिदानंद जय सचिदानंद वेलकम एवरीवन टू दिस सत्संग विन ऑफ ज्ञानी पुरुष दादा श्री एंड हिज नाइन कलम्स we unise and shuda do convey namaskars to the amapura within you all please accept our namaskars então aceite as as profundas reverências da unise e do shuda and uh, so we now begin with the we in the previous sessions of satsangs we have finished up to kalam number 5 and and now we Yeah this is so now we come to number column number 6 and I would like for you Yunis by the way to tell them that this is also available to everyone in the Charan Vidhi book but those who do not have the Charan Vidhi they also have a way of getting this nine columns in in Portuguese by sending you a request is sending sending you a request getting it you know so you can send it to them by email you see então eh aqueles que te que já que já passaram pelo processo pela cerimônia do Gnavidi eh que que tem tem o seu o seu o seu charanvidi que recebeu no dia que recebeu a o Gnavidi na na satsanga do Gnavidi e se alguém não tiver ainda o nós eh é, entrar em contato comigo. Yeah. Na realidade, eh é, nós estamos acabando de fazer uma reformulação deles para eles serem impressos normalmente como como todo livro, então, mas aí vai vai entrar em contato comigo para a gente providenciar essa distribuição. What I said, Shuri, eh in seu time, we will have the, that one crest in the normal way because I already uh, asked to, to, to print Sharad Vidhi and so uh, if they don't, uh, don't uh, who doesn't have or have that old one uh, just have to wait a little time more and then I will send the, 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 the good the good one. good can, can you adjust your the angle of your uh, all you know because we can see only up to your chin Do we need to see your face more you can see on the camera just just turn the angle a little bit oh yeah a little bit okay let see just a little bit more okay well <laughs> we only see only the top part of your face only you see we don't see you completely uh, okay oh that's much better okay it keeps shifting you see ha uh, now now that's better that's you have gone in well okay that's much better all right okay oh, okay shudat ma bhagwan uh let us start with your uh, you know, you reciting the now the uh, fifth column but before you recite um uh okay, explain let us explain to them briefly what uh th- uh this column who this column is for it you know who is this column who this column is meant for you know for whom is, is it is this column the fifth column it is sorry the sixth the sixth column the sixth okay and then should should uh, uh, this step now we are going to not agora fazer a sexta uh, coluna número 6 Então, 
com sentimentos e gestos obscenos para com qualquer ser vivo, seja ele homem, mulher ou de outra orientação sexual. Dê-me energia suprema de ser eternamente livre de desejo sexual. Essa, essa coluna número 6, na realidade, ela, ela diz respeito à próxima vida. É, porque quando a gente tem é, esses envolvimentos sexuais, nós criamos arquivos, que são é, a, a razão de nós criarmos carnes, exatamente os arquivos que nós temos. E quando a gente tem esse envolvimento sexual, automaticamente nós criamos mais calmas para a gente. E, 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 porque ao criar, ao, ao, ao ter esse envolvimento sexual, a gente é, tem também os envolvimentos cargos, que a gente cria que esse se torne um, um file, um arquivo que a gente, que a gente passa a ter. E, e essa, essa sexta coluna, ela é relativa à próxima vida, next life. Não tem nada a ver com essa vida agora. Porque o que nós estamos vivendo nessa vida... Ok, so, this... É, é que já foi prometido. This, this, this column is meant for everyone who has suffered from sex and sexuality. In other words, uh, suffering is of two types, pain and pleasure. É, tem sofrimento através da sexualidade. E esse sofrimento pode ser o sofrimento porque o prazer também causa sofrimento. E se suffering, we, our definition of suffering uh, from the spiritual viewpoint changes. Então, o, nosso, o nosso ponto de vista de sofrimento, é, ponto de vista da espiritualidade, Yeah, it is suffering is uh, not only of pain, but suffering is also of pleasure too. You see. Então, esse sofrimento não é só é, a dor, é, mas o prazer também. Yeah, the, é sofrimento, causa sofrimento. So, the body undergoes uh, pleasure, suffering of pleasure, and Also, this is followed by suffering of pain, you see. Então, o corpo é submetido à dor também através do, do, do prazer Every sexual ou pra, também através do, do, do sofrimento sexual. Every, everyone who has had sexual experiences realizes and recognizes that the pleasure that is associated with sex and sexuality is not permanent it is it comes and goes então todo mundo que tem que já passou que passa por esse processo de sexualidade é, ele percebe que que a sexualidade ela tem um ir e um vir e um ir Quer dizer, veio o ímpeto da sexualidade, veio a necessidade da sexualidade e quando ela é satisfeita, ela passa. Uh, e, e tem esse movimento, então, de, essa, esse movimento. Uma hora veio o desejo, outra hora esse desejo está satisfeito, ele desaparece. Not knowing who is enjoying or suffering the pleasure of sex and not, e, no, not knowing... Então, e não sabendo quem é, é este que está, é, está, está, está gostando, está, está 
tá, tá curtindo isso, tá sofrendo através do sexo. Yeah. The, quem é este? Quem é esse uh, ser? The one wrongly believes that I am having fun and enjoying sex, you see. Porque existe uma crença errônea que a gente passa a falar eu é que estou gostando e aproveitando e curtindo esse sexo. If you, if you stroke a body, if you touch a body gently and in uh, pleasure strokes, then the body will feel pleasure and the same body, if you touch it with something burning and sharp and painful, it will experience pain, you see. Então, e esse corpo, se ele tiver uma coisa que ele, que ele se sinta bem, que ele aprecia, ele vai, ele vai se sentir bem. Mas esse mesmo corpo, com alguma coisa que o que queime ou que o machuque, ele vai é, se, se sentir mal. So, all of this Uh, things are happening to the body and uh, when it is pleasant and pleasure-like then he or she says I love it, I like it, I want more. Então, tudo isso é só relativo ao corpo. Quando isso é prazeroso e você gosta que, que, que te dá, que você curte isso, então você fala, não, eu gosto, eu quero mais, eu quero, eu preciso disso. And, and when it is painful or unpleasant, if the touch is unpleasant or too much or too strong, uh, then he or she doesn't want it and says, leave me alone, I don't like it, go away, etc. Então, quando isso não é prazeroso, causa desconforto, causa sofrimento, então... É, aquela a pessoa que está está vivendo isso aí então ela fala eu não quero isso eu não gosto disso por favor saia de perto de mim me deixe em paz me deixe sozinho and but this you know when you really look at it it is all happening to this uh, body complex uh, então quando você olha para todo esse conjunto Yeah. Uh, you, you are not the sufferer of the pleasant or pleasure signals, uh, nor are you the sufferer of the pain signals. You are simply the aware of them, you are simply the knower of that which is happening to the body. E, então, o importante é perceber que você, na realidade, é aquele que sabe e que, que, que vê o corpo né, passando por essas situações. Você é mais do que o corpo, você é mais do que isso. Ah, and, but, but due to wrong belief or due to uh, old habits. Então, devido às, às crenças errôneas, aos velhos hábitos. Due to the wrong belief uh, before the Gnanvidi and due to old habits after the Gnanvidi, see? Então, em todos esses hábitos errôneos, essas crenças errôneas, aconteceram, você as teve, você as teve, If you haven't had the Gnan Vidi, then there is a, a permanent wrong belief that I am this body and I am uh, enjoying it or I do not like it, you see. Então, quando você não, já não passou ainda pelo Gnan Vidi, você tem essa crença que você é só esse corpo. Yeah. É, na realidade, você é mais do que isso. Você está acima disso, além desse corpo. And, and if you have had the Gnanvidi, then it is easy because you know that this is happening to Marluce or, uh, or uh, uh, Jose or it is happening to, 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 to Marcia. You see, in other words, you, you know that it is happening to somebody else, not to you. E se você passou pelo processo, de, pela cerimônia do Gnanvidi, então é mais fácil, porque aí você tem uma percepção 
é, mais, mais definida e mais afiar, afinada, porque aí você pode perceber que isso está acontecendo com a Márcia, ou com a Marluce, ou com o Domingos, mas não está acontecendo com você na realidade. Yeah, just it is very similar to when you have not eaten breakfast and you did not eat uh, dinner last night, then today at around two or three o'clock, the, the, the stomach will start complaining, the stomach will start making noises from inside of pain. Então, isso, isso é fácil de entender. Vamos supor que ontem você não, não se alimentou e também hoje você não tomou café, de repente Dentro do seu corpo começa uma reação no seu estômago que está pedindo um, 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 um alimento. Yeah, sometimes the pain of hunger is so strong that it literally hurts in the stomach, you see. E, e algumas vezes essa fome ela provoca uma dor que até é, fere, de alguma forma, fere o seu estômago. Oh, essa necessidade de, de, de ter o alimento e não, não receber. The correct way of looking at it is, it is the stomach that needs, is making the noise and the stomach needs something inside. Stomach needs some food. Why do you say I am hungry? It is the stomach that is, that is hungry. É importante você ter a consciência e perceber nesse momento e olhar e falar o estômago está precisando de alimento, o estômago está com fome. Yeah. Por que você vai pensar que você está com fome? Quem está necessitando de alimento é o estômago. See, there are, there are four basic instincts that are part of this body of ours. Everyone has those basic fundamental instincts in, a, in, então, in their bodies. Todo yes. mundo tem quatro é, instintos básicos e fundamentais conectados a esse corpo. The first one is hunger. Hunger, you know, the body needs, a uh, body has hunger. É, and the... A primeira é a fome. Então o corpo necessita é, de suprimento, ele necessita ser alimentado. And so in order to satisfy that hunger, the body will do whatever is necessary to put some more food in the mouth, you see. Então, no sentido de satisfazer essa necessidade do seu corpo, você tem que colocar um alimento nesse corpo e passar com esse alimento através da sua boca para o resto do seu corpo. Yeah, and and uh, the second is fear. You see, the body uh, is has got a built-in fear protection. Uh, fear is the protection. Uh, of the body, you see, if you feel of it, if it protects itself, you see. O segundo fundamento é o medo, é a necessidade de, de, de se sentir seguro e, e baseado nesse, nesse sentimento, nesse fundamento, segundo fundamento, então você busca uma forma de proteger a vida. When there is a big explosion in your city, and you are in that area, you, even if you are very weak, you will find the energy to run away, you see, from it. Yeah, yes, and yes, so that is the fear, is, it's a built-in sense that the body wants to protect itself. Uh, you do not have to do anything for it, you see. Então, isso, perceba que isso é o seu corpo que precisa de proteção e está buscando uma forma de se proteger. Mas você não precisa de proteção, você não corre risco nenhum. If you are taking a walk in the forest and all of a sudden there is a snake on your path, you don't have to think, okay, I'm going to jump and then jump. Automatically, the energy comes to you to jump and avoid, uh, avoid it. You see, you will automatically jump. Existe um instinto de defesa, por exemplo, 
é, é, conectado ao próprio corpo. Por exemplo, se você estiver andando numa trilha, numa floresta, e de repente uma cobra venenosa aparecer é, na sua frente, você não tem que pensar, bom, agora eu vou lá, eu vou ordenar para o meu corpo se movimentar e dar um pulo para ele é, se, se prevenir ou se proteger dessa serpente. Não, isso é um impulso que vem automático. Você pula automaticamente, é um instinto natural. And, and the third natural instinct is sex. For everyone with a human body, uh, you see, everyone with a body, the natural instinct is sex. That, that's the third natural instinct. E o sexo é um instinto natural. Ele faz parte do corpo. Então, todo, to, todos têm esse instinto natural que é essa energia da sexualidade que atua nesse, nesse complexo que nós chamamos de corpo. Just as you f there is hunger for food in the body, there is also the hunger for sex assim in this body. Assim como você sente necessidade, fome de ter alimento, também o seu corpo sente essa fome, essa necessidade de, 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 de ter, de praticar a sexualidade. Uh, and, and the fourth, the fourth uh, natural instinct of the body is sleep. You see, when the body gets tired, automatically there will be sleep. O quarto natural instinto do corpo é o sono. Então, é, chega o um momento que você, o seu corpo, pede para dormir. Uh, or when the mind gets tired, then to there will be, the sleep will come, you see. Então, quando a sua mente se tornar cansada, automaticamente o sono, o sono se, se mostra, se manifesta. But, this, so this, this column, this magnificent prayer uh, of Gnani Purush Dada Shri is for, uh, is for those who have suffered uh, from sexuality and sex. Então, essa sexta coluna que, que foi é, deixada pelo Dada Shri é para aqueles que de alguma forma sofrem ou sofreram é, através da, 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 do sexo. This is, this is for those who uh, want liberation, you see, they want to become free from any kind of pain in life. Então, essa sexta coluna é para aquele que quer uma libertação, que ele não quer nenhum tipo de sofrimento na vida. Uh, the, the root cause of all suffering in life after life is based on the wrong understanding about sex and sexuality. Not there is infinite bliss within every human being. Perfect. But not knowing how to get the bliss that is inside him or her, he goes out to get the temporary pleasures of sex. Mas pelo fato de ele não ter conhecimento do que, do que acontece desde o corpo e na mente, então ele entra nesse estado de sofrimento trazido pelo sexo. This column is not to take away that which is natural to the body. And, uh, Mas, Dona, não é para você jogar fora ou tirar de você essa necessidade do corpo. Whatever sexual pleasure 
and whatever sexual pain one is going to get in this life is already been decided in the last life. You, uh, you might say sexual pain. Well, everybody understands sexual pleasure because it is all around you, everywhere in the world. You you want to you want to know what is sexual pain? You try this. Try being present when a woman is delivering a baby. Then you will know what sexual pain is. You want to know what is sexual pain? Try and sit down with a young woman whose husband uh, beats her and treats her like just a sex object and nothing else. You want to know what is sexual pain? Uh, visit some parts. Uh, vis visit the parts of the city where the poor children are running around and they do not even know who their parents are. You want to know what is sexual pain? Uh, talk to a gentleman who works hard from morning till evening to bring food on the table uh, only to find that his wife goes to other men for her sexual pleasure. You want to know what is sexual pain? Visit some of the uh, institutions where little children are permanently institutionalized because of brain damage during birth. You want to know what is sexual pain? Uh, think of the man who has been innocently accused of sexuality because uh, even though he never did anything wrong, the women said that they, he touched them or he did all kinds of things and accuses him in public. That is sexual pain. Yeah, 
mas, mas sem que isso seja verdade. Imagine a dor que ele vai sentir de ser acusado, sem como se defender e sendo inocente. You want to know what is sexual pain? A woman who has the potential to give birth to a god is treated as a common prostitute in the society. Você quer saber o que é a dor do sexo? Imagine uma mulher que, que quando dá a luz de uma menina, provavelmente solteira, muito de tempo, e que aí então ela passa a ser tratada pela sociedade como uma prostituta. All this, all this sexual pain arises not from natural sex, it arises from unnatural and abnormal, excessive wrong sex. Então, todas essas dores, elas não, 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 não vêm, elas não nascem de um sexo normal, natural e, e, e acordado, elas vêm é, de, 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 da forma porque a pessoa, esse sexo foi praticado de uma forma não natural, de uma forma não espontânea e não acordada. A man and a woman before their marriage in a long engagement are very good friends. But soon, então, os homens e mulheres, é, quando eles estão no relacionamento antes de casar, eles muitas vezes são é, grandes amigos. But very soon after marriage, within months uh, after the honeymoon, the fights start between the two of them. You see? Mas no curto prazo, depois que eles se casam, é, é, em um pouco tempo, de repente, eles começam a ter questões, brigas entre eles. And so after after years and years of that marriage, the, there is really no marriage. There is only the marriage, but no love in that marriage. You see. Então, depois de algum tempo, você vai ver que esse relacionamento não é um é um casamento, mas não tem amor. Of the four basic instincts that we described, uh, there is no problem with the other three, but sex instinct uh, is associated with some serious dangers. Então, de outra forma, o sexo em alguns casos, ele é considerado é, perigoso. And, and uh, this is because, by its very nature, sex is like an open fire. Então, é porque é, na natureza, é, isto, esse, isso acontece, é como se você estivesse abrindo the more you go into it, the more it burns you. It's a desire for sex is like a fire. It can never be extinguished. It can never be quietened down. You see. Então, os desejos sexuais podem ser como fogo, de aquele fogo que nunca se extingue, que nunca se apaga. Even when he is 80 years old and in the hospital, an old man, as soon as he gets, as soon as he feels a little better, will start making passes at the young nurse, you see. Excuse me, can you repeat? <laughs> even, when, even at the age of 80, an old man who is in the hospital, when he's getting better, will start making sexual passes at the nurse, the young nurse. When you are, when the body is in pain and when you have a fever, 
all ideas of sex go away but as soon as the body is feeling good se você tiver uma situação doente de febre toda essa energia sexual ela vai embora ela não se manifesta human sexual interaction is associated with much more than the physical act of the intercourse you see então a a o relacionamento sexual entre os humanos ele ele é muito mais do que só essa relação sexual because he is not having an intercourse with just the body he is also having an intercourse with the inner complex of that human being and that is the mind the chit the ego and the intellect there is a whole machine inside that he is in ele está tendo a pessoa de nesse estado ela está tendo relação sexual não só através desse ele está tendo da mente mas ele está tendo essa esse relacionamento também através do corpo da mente do the shit yes the chit which is the inner organ of knowledge and vision que é aquele de aquela energia interna de yeah. desejo e visão and 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 the ego the person's belief that it is my body that he is enjoying you see e o ego porque a pessoa nesse momento ela está pensando está agindo e falando este é o meu corpo eu estou tendo prazer através deste corpo even though she is enjoying in the process she has the strong belief that he is enjoying me and my body and therefore i now have a special uh, possession over him you see então ele normalmente nessa ocasião quando você atrai uma pessoa que ela tem essa prática também vem aquela ideia de que and this all is that and prazer comigo está desfrutando do meu corpo logo eu vou exercer um certo poder sobre ele eu vou ter uma possessão sobre ele and so that which began as a simple attraction now ends up in very strong possessiveness and control over the other aquilo mm. que começou como uma coisa de atração uma coisa de encantamento é, já cai para esses níveis de de possessão é possessiveness you know in other words he is mine you he is mine he is mine you see e outras palavras é, ela começa a pensar bom ele é meu or or or, uh, or the other way around she is mine and nobody can talk to her even nobody can look at her even you see oh, e, e ao mesmo tempo isso acontece com o homem também. Ele de repente ele começa a pensar: bom, agora ela me pertence, ela é minha e ninguém mais vai poder tocá-la ou conversar com ela. Eu só só eu que posso desfrutar dela. Just because of sex, then there is the expectation that because he is mine, he better do what I want him to do. He better Exato listen to me. Isso acontece. É, começa a nascer uma uma expectativa. E aí, por exemplo, ele, ela vai pensar ele, ela, ela é minha, ou ele é meu, então automaticamente vem a expectativa de que ele, que ele ou ela vai fazer aquilo que você deseja que ele faça. That uh, and when he cannot fulfill those expectations, then uh, the negative reactions start with then her the attraction turns into repulsion. Então ou se por acaso essas expectativas não são correspondidas, automaticamente se instala a reação da pessoa e ele, ela, começa a ter uma reação de repulsa, de rejeição. And, and so then, thus, this is how sexual pain begins, you see. Então é assim que a dor da sexualidade é do sexo. Yes. Sexual pain is not a physical pain. It is a much more serious, subtle, internal, mental pain. You see. Então, a dor do sexo ela não é uma dor física. Ela é muito mais profunda do que isso. É sutil. 
And also the nature of the sexual fire and the sex sexual instinct is such that no matter how beautiful uh, the wife or the woman may be for a man, sooner or later his eyes are going on some other women, you see. And so then, now the, the, the woman can sense it very easily that her man is no longer interested in her and therefore she will do all kinds of things to her body to make her body more attractive to the man, you see. Don't stop my stone. She, are, you, are you there with me? Yeah. Yes. She, she, the woman can sense that her man is not interested in her, so she goes out of her way to be appear more attractive to him. Uh, she will even subject her body to all kinds of surgeries just so that she can keep up with uh, sexual pain does not allow you to grow in life naturally and gracefully. Gnani Purush Dada Shri does not prohibit sex or sexual interaction with a man or a woman. He is trying to, he is saying that that sexual interaction which causes kashais, anger, pride, deceit and greed, Great. You see that that kind of sex is forbidden because it is going to make make you immersed. It will kind of it will drown you in sexual pain, and he is saying this out of compassion. Uh, so, the Gnani, this kalam of Gnani Purush Dadashri is not meant to create any kind of guilt in anyone who is listening to this satsang. Yes, Gnani Purush Dadashri says that one of the most important uh, uh, rule as far as sex is concerned is to be sincere to your partner, to be sincere to your and he is, he has gone even to the extent he has even gone as far as saying that if you are sincere to your man or your woman then in this 
2014, this time cycle, this time, it is equivalent to being a true celibate. Então, ele diz que se você tem um relacionamento sexual harmônico, sadio e sincero, é, mesmo que seja hoje, em 2014, isso também é considerado é, celibato. Você, yeah. você se casar é considerado celibatário. Yeah, yes. we know what happens in the in the church, you know, in, in the monasteries and everywhere where they try to suppress sex in some way or the other. We have seen the result. <laughs> The sexual instinct in a human being can not be suppressed. The energy behind it uh, needs to be channeled. That is the critical uh, awareness that is with critical awareness the energy of sex can be used in the right manner então a energia atrás disto atrás dessa identidade de tudo essa energia sexual ela pode ser canalizada and so uh, this column of our gnani purush dada shri which we will uh, go further into in the next half of our satsang. Uh, this column is meant for everyone in this world who has any kind of suffering in life. Então, essa sexta coluna que nos, passa, que nos deixou da Tashri, ela, ela é adaptada a todos os seres humanos que, que passou, ou que passam, que teve Algum tipo de sofrimento na vida através do sexo. Yeah. Uh, it, it gives one the right vision and understanding about sex and sexuality. And it also gives one the exact understanding of how to become free from it, you see. Então, ela dá uh, é para aqueles que, que necessitam e que precisam dessa sexualidade, praticar essa sexualidade, mas também dá o caminho para aqueles que querem ficar livre dos, de, de, da, da sexualidade e dos envolvimentos que a acompanham. Of, of the four basic instincts, you, the, you cannot live without the other three. <coughs> You cannot live without food, you cannot live without sleep, and you cannot live without protecting your body, you see. Pois é, tirando esse quarto, esse quarto elemento fundamental, sem os outros três primeiro, você realmente não pode viver, você não sobrevive sem eles. Sem o alimento, sem, 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 sem sentir medo e sem... It's the sleep. Yeah. So food protection and 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 sleep are necessary. Are necessary, but sex you can without sex you can live a perfectly perfectly normal life as a human being. Ninguém vive sem o alimento, sem se sentir seguro, protegido em algum lugar e sem, e sem dormir. E... Mas é, nós, qualquer ser humano, qualquer, qualquer ser vivo, pode perfeitamente viver sem o sexo e sem o desenvolvimento das dores que ele traz. Souls and human beings who have the right understanding about sex and sexuality are very, 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 very 
rare in this world. You see. Então, é, sons, almas e de pessoas de, de algum ser é muito raro encontrar seres humanos ou almas de que que, que, que entendem é, essa essa forma de, de, de conseguir viver sem o sexo neste mundo. Yeah, and it, this, so we are just beginning to explore these, these intentions, intentions, and this is an intention. This, this bless you. Uh, this, when we recite this column number six, it is simply an intention. You see, and we will talk about it after a break. We'll take a five minute break, and you see. Então isso tudo. É, para você conseguir esses estados, você vai conseguir através de intenção. Então, é só através da intenção que você, você consegue atingir esse estado de não dependência da sexualidade. Então, já há cinco minutos para pra, é, é, parar cinco minutos para a gente continuar daqui a pouco, ok? All right, so we'll be back, huh? Sexo 
seria um casal, por exemplo, que é um casal que faz o sexo, tem sinceridade, que não tem jogo, que não tem água de sedução, que não tem aquela dependência, você é está me chamando, que está curtindo meu corpo agora, então ele tem que fazer o que eu quero, tem que fazer o que eu quero. Então, esse, esse casal, ele vai é considerar ser empatado. Sexo, ele é com esse. Esse é o normal, esse é o sexo normal. Ah, normal é que ele. Tem que ficar sem tempo, tem que ficar sem tempo, tem que fazer plástico, tem que segurar o nome. É. Então, pegar filho, porque tem que segurar o nome. É. Porque esse estranho é uma alma mais, nada de segurar o nome. Nada. Só se eu quiser o cara, só. I was just looking at the questions. Nobody has any questions. Looking at the chat, and there is no one, no questions for anyone. Então vamos perguntar. Tem uma questão e se alguém mais tem alguma pergunta a fazer? Okay, so we. Okay, so for everything is so far. Uh, Jose, Jose Domingo Prado, right? So far everything is clear and makes sense. <laughs> All right. So he. Então, é, o José Domingos Prado diz que é, essa, isso tudo é muito, ficou muito claro e faz sentido. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for that feedback, Jose. And Jay Sachidan and Shuddhatma Bhagwan. Jay Sachidan. Então, o José é, falou que o José Marita Bia que falou que ficou tudo muito claro, que tudo faz sentido. Então ele está falando obrigado, José. Yeah, it's such a done. And you can, you need see, you can tell the others that are who are there. They can on top to the right side. There is there is voice, social stream, and chat. If they click on chat, 
they can connect to this chair. Yeah, they, they can just yeah. Okay. So now we return to Satsang. All right, there we are. Let's go. Does Evelina have any questions? Who? Evelina? She's not there. No, Evelina is not here today. Oh. oh. She, they, they have, they have, they have, they have a party to go. Ah. Okay. Evelina now is back here. She uh, came. Now, are there new? Are the, uh, are the people in your room with you? Do any one of them have any kind of questions? Cida said she doesn't have any doubt. She is very surprised because it's open a, a, a curtain for her, her, her mind because she never thought about that. She never saw uh, sex in, in this way. Yeah. So it's very surprising. Então, o que eu estou falando é, a Cida, que é uma amiga que está aqui, ela está falando que ela nunca tinha visto por esse lado. Então, ela está, assim, totalmente surpresa, porque é realmente surpreendente. Ela nunca tinha imaginado esse lado, que as pessoas também só ficam vendo o lado do prazer e esquecem que depois daquele prazer sempre vem as consequências. Yeah, yeah, yes, you're so right. These are all, it is, we are very grateful and thankful to our Gnani Purush Dada Shri for opening this up for everyone. Before... Uh, you see, he, our Gnani Purush Dada Shri says that sex is the only thing in this universe that can become a serious cause for bondage, life after life. Então, que esse é o sexo é a causa de a gente criar outros bondage. Bondage means you know you don't feel free, the opposite of freedom. Opposite. Ah, tá. é, 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 o sexo é a única coisa que cria aprisionamento. Yeah, it, it feels you feel you never feel free if if you are tormented or if you are having all kinds of sexual issues, you never feel free. Yeah, your uh, if uh, if uh, any relationship that is based on sex is not a true relationship. Because there is much more to both human beings, the man and the woman, than just their sex, you see. Both of them, both of them are potential gods, they, but they do not realize it because they have they have they are so focused on the sexual part only. Todos eles são deuses em potencial, mas eles não percebem isso, porque eles estão só focados eh, na coisa da sexualidade, então, com aquela ideia fixa. Ah, Cida asked, why 
Men needs more sex than women. Well, Sida, they really, actually, it's the other way around. It is both the men, the desire, the, the hunger of for sex in men, as well as in women, are of different types. Ah, si, os de, o desejo sexual do, do homem e da mulher eles são dois tipos diferentes. Actually, our Gnani Purush Dada Sri says, and Niruma also used to say, that um, the sexual hunger in a woman is much more than, uh, than the hunger in a man. The sexual hunger in a man is easily The sexual hunger in a man is easily visible. Any woman can tell that this man is looking for sex. But 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 the the sexual hunger in a woman is very subtle and very deep. Deep down she is interested and wants it, but she continues to show that she is not interested and doesn't want it. For a man, it takes nothing, no time, five minutes, ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes at the most, whereas for a woman, it has just begun, you see, it just begins, the sex part. In other words, it's easy for a man, you know, to just for a man to get excited and become uh, temporarily free of his hunger for sex, you see. Set to... uh, whereas for a woman, it begins very slowly and it goes on and on and sometimes it is never comes, you know, it's much more deeper and longer. For a man, uh, sex is like hunger for food. You see, he wants dinner and he will have dinner. He wants sex and he will have sex. Uh, Whereas for a woman, her whole self, her, her whole body complex is nothing but sex. You see, she everything is being done by her so that she can finally uh, get the company of the one that she wants to be with, you see. Every visit to the shopping center most of the time is associated with what is it that I can do uh, to this body so that it is more appealing. See. Say again, every, every visit to the shopping center is, is spent in clothes and things that will make her look more attractive, you see. Uh, 
é, buscar alguma coisa, comprar alguma coisa que ela possa usar, para que ela possa ficar mais atrativa. Whereas the man, he might wear the same old t-shirt and a jean for a whole month, you see. <laughs> Whereas the man might... Não, não, isso também tem muita preocupação. Muitas vezes ele, ele fala, ah, eu, eu posso usar essa, essa, essa calça jeans aqui por um mês. So the, it's, so the sexuality is much more prolonged and deep in every direction as far as a woman is concerned, you see. Então, a, a sexualidade, eh, em, relação, em relação à mulher, ela é mais prolongada e mais profunda. But the, 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 uh, yeah, so, you're, you're right that You know, this in in a way it appears when most women don't want it, they say men want a lot. You see. What the woman is really saying is that she is not getting what she really wants. You see. By She does not. She does not want to be treated as a sex object at all. That's what she is saying. Yeah, she is in essence saying that treat me for who I really am, not what my body. In other words, love me for what I am, not don't love me just because you want to finish off in five minutes or whatever. But this is an eternal play between a man and a woman. The We, the enlightened ones of Akram Vignan, have been permanently. We have been permanently lifted up from all kinds of sexual pains, you see. And we have also been. We have also been lifted up in uh, from all kinds of sexual pleasures in the awareness that the pleasure is being enjoyed by the body and I am the knower and the seer of it, see? And in that, with that vision, you will be able to see this body as a true friend of yours and this body, no matter how old it may be, will be truly beautiful. Any kind of hunger looks in a, in the final analysis uh, looks is is the ugliness. The hunger is the ugliness. The body is beautiful. The hunger, uh, the excessive hunger, is what makes a human being ugly. You see. If you if if there is a shop in Goiania that sells the best ice cream and And you like that ice cream very much and you go drive half an hour to get it. And you bring it home and you also share it with your friends like Eunice is doing here. Yeah. Uh, 
traz isso para casa, para você quer compartilhar isso com amigos, para você costuma fazer lá. Yeah, but you see, so when you take the first sip of that ice cream as you are sitting with your friends, you will say, ah, this is so good. And, and so you might finish one, one serving of it and then you will say, okay, I'll take a little more. And you take a little more, but then, but then, if you are asked to finish the whole gallon of it, then that same ice cream that was appearing so tasteful and pleasant to you will begin to become painful to you, you see. Yeah, in other words, the, in the, if there is, if there is, if there is a very handsome man who knows how to kiss you very well. You like it initially, but if he does not let you go and keeps on holding you for 15 minutes and half an hour, you'll say, okay, get away from me now. And if you, if he is the kind who becomes like glue and doesn't leave you alone, goes, follows you wherever you're going and always holding you and always touching you, you'll say, enough, let go of me. So really, the pleasure is not coming from the man or the ice cream. It is your projection into him that is yeah, you see, in other words, everything in this world only gives temporary pleasures. There is nothing outside yourself, including this body. Yeah, including this body and the feelings of pleasure, and the good feelings, they're all temporary. They come and go. But you see, the knower of that which is temporary is always permanent and eternal. And that is who you are, you are Amapura, you see. Yeah, but is so so then we have all become the Amapura, we have all become the blissful ones. And then what is what is this column for in front of us? Isn't that yeah and the answer is the answer is that if we have become almapura all of a sudden we were living a, a normal regular life with uh, a sexual life whatever and all of a sudden we have become amapuras
The Amapura is beyond sex. Amapura is neither a male nor a female nor a bisexual. Amapura is the link to sex. She is not masculine or feminine. She is not a savage. No kind of sex, whether it is good sex or bad sex or criminal sex or whatever, ever touches Amapura. You see? Nenhum tipo de sexo, o sexo bom, o sexo mau, o sexo ruim, ou inclusive o sexo criminal, aquele dos crimes que através do sexo, nenhum yeah. deles atinge a alma pura, ela está acima disso. Criminal sex is extreme sex where normal, regular sex fails to satisfy the man or the woman, so then they go try to excite their bodies with drugs, you see. Criminal sex is extreme sex where they do not get satisfaction from normal sex and therefore they, they, they use drugs, you see. Yeah, and then they started using all kinds of drugs and in the frenzy of the use of their drugs they end up committing major crimes, you see. Yeah, the, yeah, then you see the, the unful, unfulfilled fire of sex only drives them into more dangerous things in life, you see. And so, for Mahatmas, we have a discharging body complex that the world identifies as Unisi or as Marluci or as Diogo, you see? That's a discharging body complex. You see, and that discharging body complex has brought its own account of pleasure or pain from the past life. But it also has brought some, some serious account of sex and sexuality from past life. It has and and that is that account is the temptation of sex you see the temptation of the pleasure of sex you see that is essa conta a tentação do prazer do sexo yeah it, it's it you don't need it and yet it always tempts you at the wrong time and the wrong place in your life, you see. And, 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 and yeah, there is a lot of suffering that happens even in discharging, uh, discharge because of that unfinished account from past life, even though you are an Amapura. The sexual addictions is a serious addiction, not only uh, for Mahatmas, but also for non-Mahatmas, you see, uh, for the people of the world, you see. The vício da sexualidade, a necessidade dessa escada como vício, 
Ela é um problema sério. Não só para os Mahatmas, mas para qualquer mesmo, por todos, todas as pessoas. Yeah. He may be a Mahatma, and before he became a Mahatma, before the Gnanvidi, he may have been heavily involved in all kinds of sexual activity. Uh, and then suddenly he becomes a Mahatma, you see. Excuse me, Shukha. Uh -huh. Can you repeat, please? You know, in other words, before the Gnanvidi, he may, be, may have been heavily involved in all kinds of sex and sexuality. Yeah, but after he becomes a Mahatma, he begins to have an experience of who I am in all of this and what is... And, and then he becomes aware that all of this happened in ignorance uh, because in ignorance you did not know where true bliss was, you see. Então ele começa a ter consciência disso, porque na ignorância, na ignorância, na ignorância, você não sabe realmente quem você é. But because of sexual accounts with other human beings in the past life, even after. Por causa das contas sexuais de, de, de seres humanos, vidas da vida passada. Well, you know, when that person is in front of you, all of a sudden things will happen and you will enter into sexuality with him or her, you see. In other words, with the account unfolds in front of you. It is after the Gnanvidi, the woman or the man is in front of you and again sex happens, you see. Ah, and even after the Gnanvidi, de repente there is a woman or a woman I'm not, I'm, not talking, I'm not talking about legitimate sex with uh, your own partner. I'm talking about illegitimate or, or, or sex that the society does not allow, you know. Sex that if your grandchildren were to know about it or your daughter or son will know have to know about it will hurt them, you see, they will feel very hurt. Yeah, yeah, you know. So this is the kind of sex that causes sexual pain because you have to do it in, you have to use deception, you have to do it quietly and in... You have to hide it, you, do, you know, when, whatever you have to hide will bother you inside. Que, que, que praticou essas ações de esconder e de ter que 
Então, o que, que acontece depois com a pessoa? Yeah. Ok, well, uh, I didn't quite get the question. What did you say? Tip top sex or what? what? No, she said what happened with the person who used to be addicted, who used addicted. to do something Ad to, 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 have, to have to be, to hide from Yeah, from yeah. Family. Okay, so, so after... Yeah, after some time, if he or she stopped, what happened? Okay, when... In the Gnan Vidhi, in the Gnan Vidhi, all these sins are burnt in the fire of knowledge of the Gnan Vidhi. And then when the person thinks, oh, she, she don't regret. No. Uh, oh. And then thinks uh, everyone, everything was good and beautiful in he or she enjoyed. Okay, well, let me, it's uh, two parts. But if a person doesn't have arrependment, doesn't feel guilty, I think everything was marvelous and was good and was worth it. Okay, so uh, has Elizabeth taken the Gnan Vidhi? No. Okay. No. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that your that's your phone, right? Hold on a minute. Okay. 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 So. So. So now, for uh, the uh, as long as you believe that I am Elizabeth, there is no escape from the cause and effect relationships of anything that you do. So. So, so there is no escape from the karma of cause and karma of effect. Karma is caused with the belief that I am this body, I am Elizabeth, and I am doing doing it. And and karma is caused at a very subtle level, deep inside, in, you this cannot see it. If as Elizabeth in this life you say, I love sex, I want more sex, I want more sex, I don't care where I get it from, I want more sex, e se é Elizabeth, por exemplo, nessa vida, eu falei, eu quero sexo, eu quero sexo, mais sexo, mais sexo, não quero nem saber, eu só quero curtir isso. Yeah, so, then the new blueprint for next life is being printed inside uh, the causal body. Isso, a próxima vida já está sendo produzida agora dentro dela. And, uh, and so the effect in the next life will be that you will have plenty of sex available to you and you will not be caught by anyone. You can do it, you'll be able to do it as much as you want, but... This means that in the next life, you will have a lot of sex at your disposition, so much as you want and need. But only if... You, you have good karma in operation, you see, good karma. If, you, if the good karma is there, then whatever you had desired, you, know, you wanted more sex, so the ne more you'll have plenty of sex. And but if you had then the bad karma arises when you 
when you make the blueprint that I want more sex, I don't care who I hurt, I just want it. Then in the and then then what will happen is that you, you will get very painful sex sexual pain will be there you'll get sex but it will be followed with a lot of sexual pain yeah you will get sex but it will be so, another question. Like, some men or some women is like this, and then they are uh, hungry, hungry, hungry to have sex, but after some time it's just a stop, and they don't think more about sex. Ela perguntou, e alguém que, por exemplo, no passado tinha muita necessidade, queria muito sex, e de repente, é, percebe que não era aquilo e não tem mais essa necessidade. Ela, soma, ela somatiza isso, né? Ok, uh, yeah, okay. So, it's, it's, so I, I get it. In other words, well, you know, what's her, the underlying tone of her question is, if you want it, just finish it off, so then you will not desire it anymore. Is that what she, is, is that what she's saying? Is, yeah, yeah, but you see that is in matter of sex that Nani Purush Dada Shri says that is totally a mistaken idea because sex is like a living fire. The more you put into it, the more it the uh, the couple will try straight sex and then they will try all kinds of other kinds of sex and then they will try group sex and they'll try drug sex And all, what it shows is the fire only that cannot be put out, you see. It is the fire that is just growing in different directions, that is all. You see, there is a word called, word called in, in, in Sanskrit and all over India, and that word is called Brahma, Brahma Charya, Brahma Charya. Brahma Charya, C H A R Y A, Brahma Charya. Brahma Charya. Brahma Charya. Okay. Yeah, it's a Sanskrit. It's Sanskrit as well as in Hindi and Gujarati all over. It's called Brahma. Charya. Yeah, Brahma. The meaning means the self. Amapura, Brahma. Brahma significa o ser. Yeah, and Charya, Charya means to be and move only in the self only. Charya significa ser e viver só. Do not become unisi 
remain the Amapura, that is called the exact meaning of Brahmacharya, you see? Então, é, quando a Eunice não consegue permanecer ou ser Amapura, isso é chamado but, Charya. But the conventional meaning, the traditional meaning of Brahmacharya is to... Uh, is is to be free from sexual impulses that arise in the mind or in the body or through words. Então, é... Brahmacharya, to, to become free from the sexual impulses that arise in the mind or in the body or through words. But, então, esse Brahmacharya significa é, ficar livre desses impulsos sexuais que afetam a mente e o corpo. So, the first definition is the final definition of celibacy, and the second definition... Então, a, 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 a definição final de celibato... And the second definition is the worldly definition of celibacy, you see. Então, essa é uma, é uma definição do mundo material, desse mundo mundano. And uh, so this is why, this is a good time now for Unici to read again, and all of you to read with Unici, column number six in Portuguese. Então, agora... É, é, um, é, um, é um momento que ideal para eu disse e todos vocês que estão em algum lugar que estão com ela. And, and before and yeah and before Eunice starts reading, I want all of you who are in this satsang to remember one instruction of our Gnani Purush Dada Shri. Então antes da Eunice começar a ler essa essa coluna com vocês. Eu quero dizer para todos vocês que estão nessa tatsanga and, and, uma coisa do Dada Shri. You know, supposing you are counting a big stack, a big stack of hundred dollar bills or hundred uh, Brazilian real bills. Então, vamos supor que você está é, tem uma, uma, uma conta de uh, how how do you count? At that time, the world disappears, and you are focused completely on the notes uh, that you're counting. You see, I did you know your chit is hundred percent involved in the counting. You see, when you're counting a stack of hundred dollar notes, you see. Your your mind doesn't wander anywhere, your chit doesn't go anywhere, your body doesn't want to be disturbed, you know? Então, e de repente você tem essas 100 mil, essas notas de 100 mil, mas a sua atenção não quer ir para lugar nenhum, o seu corpo não deseja mais nada. Yeah, in the same way, that is the kind of internal alignment you should have when you recite this uh, any of these columns, uh, but today uh, Unici is going to. Esse é o estado em que você deve estar, quer dizer, um estado de de neutralidade quando vocês leem essas nove colunas. Okay, so now uh, Unici, please recite it again. Então, Unici, por favor, leia de novo. Querido Dada Bagua, há uma pura dentro de mim. Dê minha energia interior absoluta de não ter, causar ou instigar alguém a ter quaisquer desejos sexuais, com sentimentos ou gestos obscenos para com qualquer ser vivo, seja ele homem, mulher ou de outra orientação sexual. Dê minha energia suprema de ser eternamente livre de desejo sexual. Very good. See this. This energy is being asked by the one who is going to get completely liberated from this entire universe of sex and sexuality, you see, and the world. 
Eu venho para aquele que quer estar totalmente liberto é, da energia yeah. e dos desejos sexuais. Sex and sexuality brings more and more human beings on this earth. And this então, o sexo e sexualidade faz, faz, faz aparecer mais, traz seres humanos para esse universo. Yeah, but you see, we, the enlightened ones, are now very near our final moksh. E nós que, que, que estamos nessa iluminação, estamos é, muito próximo é, da libertação. Yeah. Yeah, but we are asking for the absolute supreme energy from our Lord inside us because inside us because in this charge this body complex still has all kinds of sexuality and sex, you see. Porque na carga, nas cargas desse complexo de é, que, que corpo, é, existe a energia, existe né, discharge. And in discharge means what is happening in daily life after the Gnanvidi. Então, o que acontece na, na, diariamente depois do Gnanvidi? You see, these sexual thoughts that arise, you see, when you know the sexual temptations that arise when you see a woman or a man that is not yours all kinds of suggestive and sexual touching and and, and flirting flirting or, yeah, or talking about somebody else's sex and sexuality, all of those things. Yeah, see, all of those things uh, require an, a, 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 the new energy and that is why we are asking uh, for these energies from Dada Bhagwan, the Absolute One, inside us. Yeah, and for those who have not received the Gnanvidi, this uh, recitation is also helpful because such a person now realizes the nature of sexual pleasure and the and also, and also recognizes the nature of sexual pain in life and what kind of pain yeah, and so even in answer to Elizabeth, even if a person is a sexual addict and he has not received, and if he has not received this Gnanvidi, if he recites this column number six, it will help him a lot. And, and so today, I mean the Samaik, we are going to close the eyes and what are we going to see? We are going to see those scenes of sex and sexuality in our life where we hurt other human beings directly or indirectly. You see? Então, hoje, quando você for fazer o seu Samaik, fecha o olho e visualiza todas aquelas pessoas if other people had caused you pain and hurt uh, because of sex or sexuality, that also... So, so but you see, this time you, those scenes will come in front of you, but you will be the blissful seer 
you will então, not be... quando você estiver fazendo essa meditação e que isso tudo aparecer em frente a você, perceba que você está além disso, você é aquele que vê. You will você be... You will be the, you will not be the sufferer of the sexual pleasure or the pain scenes. You will just be the knower. And by and, and, and as you as you see those scenes in your past life, you can open your eyes and read this column sexual column, column of brahmacharya. Yeah, you can see this, see, do the samaik of this brahmacharya because you are asking total freedom from sexuality and sexual impulses. Yeah, so even if the, so your opinion is totally changing, your, and if any, for any pain caused to others, you make file number one, do pratikraman, you see. Você diz para o arquivo número 1, um, que é esse corpo, mente, fala, com essa etiqueta, com o seu nome. Então, lá de onde você, daquele que tudo vê, que tudo sabe, diz para essa pessoa, para esse arquivo número 1, um, que, que, é, que está junto, conectado em você, colado em você, pede para ele fazer o praticamento. And later on, after this satsang is over, Eunice will explain to you uh, the pratikraman if you don't know it. Yeah. yeah, but you see, most important is is the seeing. If you can see those scenes, the mais importante é ver. Se você pode ver essas coisas. Yeah, you, if you can see the scenes, the seer is always separate and always blissful, you see? And Não, mas aquele que vê, ele está sempre separado. And, Porque, and, yeah. and by seeing, all of those things will fall away. They will fall away. Então, é, quando você faz essa prática, essas coisas... Se, seeing is the greatest forgiveness. When you see it, you are automatically beyond all the forgiveness or the guilt. Esse, you see? Esse é o maior é, perdão, pedir perdão. E para fazer isso, você está praticando. Oh. Esse... Okay, so now we are going to do the vidhi. So now we are going to do the vidhi of of sexual pain and hurt to others, okay? Então agora a gente vai fazer o vidi da, da, das dores e, e dos sofrimentos and, através do sexo. And after the vidi is over, uh, we are going to close this broadcast. You can, you, if you are at home, wherever you are, try to close your eyes and see the scenes of sex and sexuality which caused hurt to others, you see? Então, quando nós terminarmos essa satsanga, então, é que a gente, é, para até sair do ar, então, por um, por um, por um, nos momentos, feche os seus olhos e faça essa retrospectiva. And, so, first simple one is just to see the pain, that's all. And then we can go e into deep. A coisa, você, basta que você veja a dor que você causou. So, so we just say, Dear Dada Bhagwan, the absolute self within me. Então você vai dizer, Querido Dada Bhagwan, o ser absoluto dentro de mim. Uh, dear Lord Simandar Swami. Querido Lord Senhor Simandar Swami. Uh, Grant me the absolute energy. Yeah. To see in Samaik. 
para ver nessa maica, nessa meditação, with the exact applied awareness of Amapura, the pure soul, é, do ponto de vista da, da consciência da alma pura, do exato ponto de vista, all situations and circumstances in the past life where todas as situações e circunstâncias da vida passada onde where pain and hurt was caused to other human beings because of the hunger for sexuality and sex é, para que eu veja na vida passada é, toda a dor que eu causei ao a algum ser humano através da minha fome sexual Let me see where file number one was wrong in all of this. Deixe-me ver onde o arquivo número um estava errado and, de fazendo isto. And let me see that she does pratikraman for it by being repentant for it. This is she is repentful então, and she. Deixe-me ver e fazer pratikraman e arrependendo-me por isto. I surrender this mind, speech and body. Eu entrego essa mente, fala e corpo. All illusions associated with my name. E toda ilusão associada with meu nome. Bhav karma, charge karma. É, bhav karma, é, é, carga, é, karma negativo. É, charge karma. Dravya karma, subtle discharge karma, dravya e, karma. E o dravya karma, que é o karma sutil, é... Discharge. This, and no karma, gross discharge karma. E, e o não karma, que é, é o, o karma, no karma, que é o karma é, pesado. É. I, I surrender them all to the manifest absolute soul. Eu entrego, eu entrego tudo isso para este ser manifesto e absoluto. Dada Bhagwan within me. Esse Dada Bhagwan que habita em mim. It, it is at your divine feet that I am surrendering all of this, my Lord. Eu entrego todos isso, tudo isto aos, nesses, aos pés divinos deste yeah. meu, meu Senhor. O so Amapura, continue saying this for 25 times, please. Huh? E aí, agora nós vamos dizer eu sou Amapura por 25 vezes. Eu sou Amapura, 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 Pura, Very good. Jai Sachidanand. And if you are busy right now, then later on when you go to bed, you can do this Samaik, you see. Mm -hmm. Então, agora, é, quando você for dormir, faça esse Samaik. Yes. This is the best way to become free from any feelings of guilt and sin. Esse é o, é o melhor caminho para ficar livre da culpa e do pecado. Okay, Sridhatma Bhagwan, Jai Sachidanan to all of you. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan, Jai Sachidanan from Unisi and Shuddha, Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan.